Hey guys, so in this video we want to have a look at the sine ratio. So what the sine ratio is, is it's this, what we call a trigonometric ratio. So trigonometric ratio, and it tells us about triangles. So specifically, it tells us that if a triangle is arranged in such a way, so where it has an angle of theta, if it has a certain ratio between its opposite side which remember was the side opposite the angle and its hypotenuse which is the longest side so if it has a certain ratio between these two sides then we can determine exactly what the angle is so what that's saying is that for our sine ratio so for our sine of theta so if we have some sine of this theta and that is equal to a certain ratio of our opposite side divided by our hypotenuse side hypotenuse then this is going to give us a fixed angle so there's only one possible angle that could occur and give us side lengths in this certain ratio so the easiest way to show this is I guess with an example so for the opposite let's say we have a length of 10 and a hypotenuse of say 18.02 so if you use Pythagoras you can work out that this side length here should be around about 15 so let's say we have these three side lengths but our opposite is 10 and our hypotenuse is 18.02 what our trigonometric ratio or our sine ratio says that if these are the observes, observed side lengths so we see the opposite is 10 and the hypotenuse is 18 then there's only one possible angle that can actually cause this to be occurring what it also says is that for any triangle which has the same ratio so for any triangle which has a ratio of 10 divided by say 18.02 which is 0.555 then this angle will be the same and you can kind of see that graphically so if we were to extend out this side and we were to double the length of both sides so we said that our hypotenuse is now um, doubled in length then we say our opposite side has now doubled in length and our adjacent side also doubled in length we scale up the triangle by two we can see that the angle is not going to change so the new length of this side is going to be 36.04 and the length of our opposite is going to be 20 but we can see that the angle is still the same because if we do this as a ratio the new ratio is going to be 20 divided by 36.04 and that's still the exact same as we had before 0.555 so the sine ratio says that if we observe this ratio occurring our opposite divided by our hypotenuse then we can work out exactly what the angle we have is so the way we do that is is we'll do this in like a, a numerical example now and we can do it for both our side lengths of 18.02 and 10 and 36.04 and 20 so if we write it out we say that we have a sine of theta and the shorthand notation we use is our sine of theta is equal to our opposite side which is our O divided by our hypotenuse side so we know what our opposite side is our opposite side is equal to 10 we know what our hypotenuse is our hypotenuse is equal to 18.02 so we can write this out again and we can say well our sine function this angle of theta occurs in such a ratio that we have 10 divided by 18.02 and we said before that that was equal to 0 0.555 so what we have is we have our sine or this angle theta occurs in such a ratio that the side lengths the opposite divided by the hypotenuse is equal to 0.555 so what we need to do is we need to somehow move the sine over onto this side so what we do is we take what's called the inverse sine so we take this inverse sine of both sides so we have the sine of a sine is equal to this inverse sine of our ratio 
0.555. So if you look on your calculator, you'll find this button, sine negative 1. So you'll find one which is just sine and one which is the sine negative 1. So we're interested in this sine negative 1 because this is going to tell us about the angle. So what we're doing is we're saying, well, we don't need this. We can cancel out that with that. And it basically cancels out and says our angle theta is going to be this inverse sine of whatever our ratio is. And our ratio in this case just happens to be 0.555. So if we work that out, it'll tell us that our angle theta is actually equal to 33.69 degrees. So when you're calculating this, common error is that we have our calculator in radians mode. What you need to do is you need to go and you need to change your calculator to degrees mode. So if your calculator is not in degrees mode, it's going to give you a completely different answer. You just need to make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. So that's a basic introduction to our sine ratio. I'm just going to get rid of this now. We do have a way that we can remember this. So if we're wanting to work out the sine ratio, so the sine ratio is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So someone came up with a rhyme a long time ago, and I'm going to do it in three parts. And the first part is going to be the sine ratio, and the sine ratio with this big S, the sine ratio is the opposite side, which is an O divided by the hypotenuse. So when we're thinking the sine ratio, we say so. Sine is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Sine of an angle is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And if we want, we can just solve back and we can get that angle. So if we want to try it again, just to make sure that we are consistent. Uh, we said that if we doubled the length of the sides, the angle should stay the same. So if we say that again, we say the sine of angle theta is equal to our opposite, which we'll write as O, divided by our hypotenuse. In this new case, we have our opposite is equal to 20, and our hypotenuse is equal to 36.04. So we've got the same problem we had before. The sine of theta is equal to 0.555. So that's just 20 divided by 36.04 is 0.555. We can apply the exact same transformation. So we take the sine, the inverse sine of both sides. So the inverse sine of this side. And then we take the inverse sine of this side here. So we end up with the inverse sine of 0.555. What you can see is that is the exact same problem we had before. That's going to cancel out. And we'll end up with our angle theta is equal to the inverse sine of 0.555. Which, if you work that out on your calculator, making sure that it's in degrees mode, that's going to tell us that our angle theta is just going to be roughly 33.69 degrees. So that's our angle, uh, our sine ratio. And what you can see is that if we ch were to change this angle by just a little bit, so in if instead of the hypotenuse was being that length, we made it so the hypotenuse was this length here, that's going to change the ratio of our opposite side divided by our hypotenuse, so it's going to change our angle theta. So what it's really important for you guys to know is that if you have your opposite divided by your hypotenuse, you can work out this angle for any given angle uh, and any triangle where you know two sides, providing it has this right angle. So I'll put some videos out for you on questions on how to do this. Thanks guys.